How's it going, everybody? Yvonne here. Today, we're going to cover two very popular CRM platforms, Zoho and HubSpot. If you guys are looking to take your sales, marketing, customer service operation to the next level, you guys are in the right place. We'll be diving deep into user interface, pricing, features, pretty much everything between when it comes to Zoho and HubSpot and see exactly which platform is going to be right for you. So let's jump into it. Now, both Zoho and HubSpot are amazing at what they do. However, from my experience of using both the platforms myself and having friends that use them, Zoho is usually better for folks that have much smaller operations. But if you're looking at something a little more sophisticated, HubSpot is going to be the better play here. As you guys are figuring out exactly which platform is going to be right for you, I would just think about the complexity of your business and the tasks that you guys need the CRM platform to do. So let's go ahead and start with HubSpot so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, whenever you guys get started with HubSpot and you guys are going to be ready to go, this is going to be the exact dashboard that you're going to actually see. Now, within HubSpot, there are going to be different hubs. They're all responsible for different things. And specifically, there are going to be six hubs at play here. There's going to be the operational hub, marketing hub, sales hub, service hub, commerce hub, and content hub, right? Now with all those hubs in play, they're going to be responsible for different things, but that depends on which plan you have for all of them. But with the basic features, which you're getting out of the box is, is going to be the CRM, right? Everything here on this end is going to be free. So when it comes to storing your guys' deals and contacts, companies, deals, tickets, lists, that's all going to be included and that's free. So if you guys are looking to do that, I would just go ahead and go with the free version of HubSpot. But if you guys do decide to scale up your operation and decide to get a little more advanced, I will go ahead and check out different marketing campaign features as well as reporting for dashboards and reports. And if you're trying to even get fancier than that, check out the automation features such as sequences and workflows. So long story short, anything you need to do for your business you can actually do within HubSpot. And that ranges from collecting quotes to actually doing marketing to sales, pretty much any part of your guys' business. So you see there how I mentioned a lot of different things. That's what I mean by HubSpot being a little bit more advanced. Let me be real with you. If you're looking for something that is very easy to use and you just want to store all your information within one place, you're not looking to automate anything, just want to keep it nice and simple, HubSpot is not going to be a good platform for you. Or you can just use the free version and that's going to be just fine. But if you want to go ahead and take your business to the next level, or you want to really scale it up, make your life a lot easier and automate a lot of the different features, HubSpot is going to be fantastic. Let me show you an example. Let's go ahead and go to the workflows and right over here, they're actually going to be some pre-built workflows for us. And here's what a workflow is. Pretty much there's this branch logic and what this does is whenever a certain trigger is activated let's say someone went ahead and visited the pricing page on your guys's website what that'll do is it can automatically send out an email to that specific customer or even assign you a calling task pretty much prompting you to call them whenever you're available so as you guys are scaling your team and you guys are scaling your marketing and any automation efforts so pretty much as you guys are scaling up your team you will need some sort of automation as is going to make your guys's life a lot easier and hey at the end of the day that's what technology is for. And look, if you're trying to get extra saucy with it, if you go to the reporting tab, go to dashboards, you can actually see all the different reports that are made here all within one place and a dashboard is made out of them. So we currently actually don't have any activity here. That's why it's empty. But if we want to go ahead and create a dashboard here or add a report to it, we can easily do so. So for example, I can go ahead, go to report, create reports, and I can either do a pre-built one or create one from scratch. And that depends exactly what I'm looking for or what sort of information and data I'm trying to identify that can actually help my business. Now, look, I get this is all confusing and that's why there's actually the help center where HubSpot helps you with all of this. So let's go ahead and give them the green thumbs up here. And look, this is accessible to anybody. You can just literally Google HubSpot help and this is going to pop up. Pretty much what this is, these are the different ways you can actually get help with your guys' HubSpot subscription. So as we scroll down, we can actually see if you're on the free plan, you have access to a ton of community driven material. That means articles, academies, pretty much anything that can teach you exactly how to use HubSpot and pretty much in which sense to use it. So if you're stuck somewhere on the free plan, there's a ton of community material that can show you exactly in which instances and how to use HubSpot platform. But if you do use a startup plan, you actually upgrade from community material only to now email and chat support. But if again, if you're trying to get a little saucy with it and you're trying to grow to professional enterprise, there's going to be the whole level of phone support as well and an implementation partner that'll be tied to your guys' account. But again, I'm guessing for most of you guys, you guys are going to be on the free or the startup plan. And let me tell you, the knowledge base and the academies are fantastic in order for me to figure out exactly how the platform works. But if you do have a specific question, I'll just go ahead and Google it and a knowledge base article should also pop up. Now, I know I mentioned implementation partners earlier. Now, what the heck is that? So pretty much an implementation partner, whenever we get on board and know this is going to be only applicable for professional enterprise plans. And this is where you have a designated team of individuals. They'll go ahead and pretty much hold your hand through the entire onboarding process. So the onboarding plans range from $1,500 
1500 to 7000 depending on what plan you're going for. And this is a one-time fee where you can have a team of folks that'll go ahead and help you set up HubSpot to your guys' business needs. And as we scroll right over here, we can actually go to the marketing hub as an example. We can scroll down and see exactly what kinds of services are available with our guys' setup. And look, that's going to include things like content strategy, campaign setup, analytics, how to capture leads, etc. And look, I'm going to repeat myself one more time. If you're just looking to keep everything within one place, just keep all your records and ducks lined up in order, just use a free tool. You're not going to need this. But if you're looking to take your business to the next level, that automation, reporting, and analytics to it, you cannot beat the professional or the enterprise plans. How much do these things cost? So if we actually go to the pricing, as I said before, there are going to be six different hubs at play here. So there's going to be the marketing, sales, service, content, operations, and a commerce hub. Now look, six different hubs, and there's going to be multiple tiers to each specific one. So there's going to be the free tier, the starter, professional, and the enterprise. If you're just a beginner, just use the free tools, right? It's going to be much easier for you guys to kind of get a gist of the platform and figure out exactly how it works. But as you guys are starting to get a feel of it, try out the startup platform. It's going to be really fun to use and all the different features are going to be listed right over here as well. You can actually compare it to the free platform, exactly what it includes. But if you guys are trying to get a little saucy, go to the marketing hub as well and check out the professional plans that are also included. Professional plans are included for all the different hubs out there. They're going to range in pricing. They are going to have different onboarding fees associated with them, but that's going to help you a ton with actually setting up your guys' platform. The general rule of thumb, whenever you guys are thinking about staying on the starter plan or the professional, is how much automation are you guys looking for? So for most folks, whenever they're thinking about making that jump from the starter tools to the professional enterprise tools, the general rule of thumb that I'd recommend is think about whenever you're looking to actually automate any of your guys' processes. If you are, making that jump is going to make a lot of sense because you can actually become a little more efficient with your guys' platform. And again, there are too many tools to go through, but if we scroll down, we can actually see all the different ones that are included here as well. You can actually compare them against one another. And look, I get that you guys are nervous about replacing all you guys' current systems and using HubSpot, but not to worry. If you actually go to the main dashboard, you click on this little house right over here, click on App Marketplace. Pretty much what this allows us to do is you can find different integrations with different softwares that you're probably already using. You can connect them to HubSpot. So if we go ahead and type in MailChimp here, we can actually see that there's a native integration that's already built in. And this is going to make your guys' lives a lot easier because switching to HubSpot is going to be very seamless. Now let's see exactly what we need to do to get started started with the platform. And if you guys want to follow along, check out the link down in the description so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and click on get started for free. And right over here, I actually already have an account. So let's go ahead and create an account with a different user. Let's go ahead and generate a random email right over here. Go ahead and verify it. Boom. Once we got that number in, we're going to choose our password. You can make it whatever you want. Select your first and last name. Click exactly what you're looking to use HubSpot for, what industry you're in, who is using it, and your company name. Test company. Test.com. You guys not like us, go ahead and use my first website. We're going to be in the United States. And once you've gone ahead and actually answered those basic questions, HubSpot is going to try to help you guys out and figure out exactly what you guys are looking to use HubSpot for. So in this case, let's go ahead and use it for generating new leads, right? So let's just go ahead and blast through these questions. Pretty much different tips that HubSpot is able to help us with. We're going to add a team later and boom, it's setting up HubSpot for us. And voila, we're ready to go. Now let's go ahead and take a step back and discuss the other software that's in play here, Zoho. Now what people love about Zoho is how easy it is to navigate within it. Usually folks that go ahead and use the platform are people that just need it for very simple reasons, such as just managing their leads, contacts, different company records. As you guys can see, we're seeing a lot of similarities between HubSpot and Zoho in the user interface, such as leads, contacts, accounts, deals, tasks, meetings, etc. Now look, I want to be real with you. If you're just starting off, right, you're not looking to scale, you just want something very, very simple, Zoho is going to be a very good solution for you, right? Everything within one place that you want to have, right, such as deals, if we go right over here, you can enter any of these deals no problems see exactly where they're at in the pipeline exactly what we need to do in order to move it to the next line right over here so very intuitive to use there are also different reports that are available as well that we can actually see all of our successes and we see exactly what we need to do and how it's working there is also different tasks available that we can assign to us accounts contacts or different leads that we can actually play around with and see exactly where they are in the pipeline so you guys get the gist all the basic features right when it comes to a normal crm so company records deals reports some basic analytics Zoho has built within it, making an awesome solution for you guys to use. Keep in mind, similar to HubSpot, how it has different hubs, Zoho also actually has different services that are available as well, such as mail, creator, desks, books, and projects. We can actually scroll down that they actually have a Zoho one on one suite and different things that are available to the end user. So in a way, it is kind of similar to HubSpot. It's just not going to be as complex as HubSpot is. And that's going to be the case, especially for anything that has to do with automation. Similar to HubSpot, if we go ahead and click on this little house, right over here. So 
as you guys can see, there are different extensions you can actually add to your guys' Zoho Sui, making it much easier for you guys to rule your business. And another thing that both Zoho and HubSpot have in common is their call intelligence systems. So pretty much what these systems have in common, you can actually utilize AI and figure out exactly how you can make your outbound efforts better. The part that really relates to people when they're thinking about choosing Zoho or HubSpot is going to be the payment plans. And as we can see, it's going to be a lot cheaper than HubSpot. So as we scroll down right over here, we can actually see the automation things that it includes and see exactly what it has for different bundles and exactly what we're getting for our buck. This is a similar story when it comes to product customizations, AI, ports and analytics. So look, there you guys have it. I just went over two very popular CRM platforms, Soho and HubSpot. And in all honesty, whenever you guys are thinking about which one is gonna be right for you guys, I would just figure out your guys' business needs and exactly what you guys are looking for. If you're looking at something that's gonna be very easy to use, out of the box, doesn't need an implementation partner, Zoho is gonna be the right answer for you. It does all the basic things that a CRM needs to do, but it's not gonna be as advanced as HubSpot as a business is trying to scale. With HubSpot, it's gonna be a different story. As you guys saw, the features that it offer are gonna be a lot more extensive so as your business grows you kind of need something that are able to keep up with them so if you guys are in a situation where it's kind of grow and go i would recommend hubspot any day of the week ultimately the choice is yours whether you guys go with hubspot or zoho because it'll kind of depend on your guys' needs and budget if you found this video helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this let me know in the comments if you guys have any further questions or if there are any other topics you want to cover links to sign up for zoho and hubspot are going to be down in the descriptions so check out those as well Till next time peace